Ma was having a satsang, and her devotees were there in a, in a room. And then this crazy man came in, and his hair was wild, and his eyes were wild, and he was disheveled and dirty and, and just yelling and screaming. And all the devotees were just out horrified. Oh, my God, what's going to happen? And Ma told, you know, two of the men, bring him and have him sit down there with the men. So he kind of calmed down, and he sat down. And then Ma had this big basket of fruit, and she distributed it as prashad, and everyone got a piece of fruit. But this crazy man took the fruit he was given, an orange, and he threw it at Ma, and it hit her quite forcefully. And the devotees, some of the men, they were outraged, and they grabbed this man, and they dragged him out of the room. And then Ma said, you shouldn't have done that with that because you had anger. It was two of the monks. And he, she said, you both need to fast for several days to purge that anger. But then a few days later, they were having a satsang, and a man walked in. And at first, they didn't recognize him. His hair was kempt, clean, nice clothes, well-pressed, behaving with decorum. And he quiet, this is very moving. And he quietly sat down among the devotees. And Ma pronounced, and he came up and touched her feet. And he said, I'm from a very fine family. I was very well-educated. I had a very good life. But the darkness took me. One can say it was a possession. And I was out of my mind for years. But when I took that fruit and I threw it at you, for the first time in all these years of darkness, I felt such remorse that I began to cry. And I wanted to find who I knew I was. And thank you, Ma. And he became a lifelong disciple and advanced very, very far, they say.